So, my dad, my dad was in World War II. More specifically, my dad was uh, in the Normandy invasion, uh, June of 44, Omaha Beach. My dad uh, and three other guys were in this Jeep and they, uh, they were driving along. My dad was standing up in the back of the Jeep with a machine gun and the three seated guys, uh, this Jeep hit a, hit a booby trap and flipped violently. And the three guys seated were, were killed immediately and my dad was hurled off into the distance and, and uh, kind of laid open. Um, the percussion split my dad wide open from his Adam's apple to his, his pelvic bone. Uh, and he laid there uh, and the, when, when the medics got to him, they rushed him off and sure enough in the, in the hospital they discovered that he was blind. Um, they performed a series of surgeries, got the vision back in his right eye, pulled a bunch of shrapnel. So he got a sight back in his right eye, but he had, uh, he had lost his left eye and also uh, lost the hearing in his left ear, lost his left collarbone and lost uh, his left bicep and 16 feet of small intestine. Again, that was 44. I was born in 59 uh, to a dad who in the day they called shell shocked. My dad was uh, had PTSD pretty pretty severely, and uh, the shell shock kept it such that you know with his disability he never never played with me. Uh, wasn't able to throw the ball. He was he was messed up, so he couldn't do a lot. And I didn't understand that. You know, my dad was always kind of like this kind of distant figure in my life um, who I, I really longed to have a relationship with, but. As it turned out, that was pretty pretty icy, pretty tepid. Um, but interestingly, probably 1970, I'm about 11 years old, <coughs> and uh, the VA sends a letter to my dad, uh, addressed to him as this letter, stating that uh, for the first time in the history of the veterans, uh, we're going to afford you who gave so bravely your sight. Uh, we're going to give you the luxury of, uh, of two glass eyes. We're going to give you a day pupil and a night pupil so you've got greater symmetry, uh, which my dad didn't even know what the hell that meant. So upon explaining that to him, he was just more pissed off. And uh, he said, well, that's not the hell with that. It's not what I want. So he counter petitioned right on that, on that offer and launched it back. And a few days later, got a rejection for that request. But was pretty perseverant. He uh, he requested again and a third time uh, a demand, and uh, the VA caved. They gave him what he wanted. They sent him a letter saying, "We're going to honor your request. Uh, this is rather unprecedented request, but we're going to honor this for you, sir." And uh, sure enough, my dad ended up getting uh, in the mail about five six weeks later. He got. He got a package, and in that in that package uh, were was uh, two glass eyes. Uh, he got a he got a clear eye, and uh, my dad also got this, which is a, a, a bloodshot eye because he likes to drink. <laughs> so this is this is my dad's drinking eye. Uh, my dad got a clear eye and a bloodshot eye because he likes to drink. Um, and interestingly, from that day forward, uh, you know, when I'd come home from school, my, my absent dad, my unavailable dad, I'd, I'd come home from school and say, hey, mom, I'm looking for dad. Do you know where he is? I see the truck is gone. And she would say, ah, well, you know, go, go check the medicine cabinet and see which eye is missing. So I'd, I'd run off and come back and go, mom, it's, you know, the, the, the bloodshot eye is gone. And, uh. She'd say, well, shit, you know, you're not going to see him for five days, seven days, two weeks. 